If you are a fan of the Stranger Things series, you already know the show is full of 80s nostalgia. So whether you're going to your Halloween party as a cast member or just opting for some 80s inspired looks, we've got crafts that are simple enough to pull off in less than 30 minutes. That's right. Here with us now, our one, our only craft box girl, Lynn Lilly is back. Yes. <laughs> Just call me Susie Poo today. Susie Poo in this, I mean, what an easy, this was a pretty easy. I never got to go to work in pajamas. I know. <laughs> I love pretty it. Amazing. We're in our comfy clothes and our, okay, the girls laugh because I call them scoochies. <laughs> Wait, but I call it a scoozie. Okay. <laughs> when we were rehearsing, scoochie, I was like, what is wrong with me? Crunchy. It's a scrunchy, right? I, but, I make up my own um, name. Yes, our own words today. Yes, and we're going to actually show you how to make one. So yes, simple. This is easy. No so. Okay, so everyone's got an old t-shirt lying around at home. Totally. So cut Tooth. off a piece from your old t-shirt. And if, if it's not an old t-shirt, as long as it's stretchy, okay. it'll work, okay? Got it. So you're going to put that down. The other key things that you need is a hair tie. So like an elastic that you wear in your hair. It can be any one. And then a cup. So okay. you need some type of cup, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a seam. So I'm gonna fold this over. You take the glue gun and just put- Do it under nope, here? Nope, on oh, top. On yep, top. so right across the top. Got it. And we are using hot glue fabric glue. You can use regular fabric glue, but if you do wanna wash it, you wanna use, make sure you're using a fabric glue, whether it's hot glue or it's regular glue. Okay. Now we're gonna fold over the seam at the other end as well, and we're gonna glue it together, okay? okay. So we'd let that set for a second, and you get what is a circle, right? Easy okay. Enough. Easy enough. Now, got it. all right. So we're gonna set this one aside. Grab your cup. Okay. So now we've got our circle. What we want to make sure that we do is we flip it inside out so that our seam is on the outside. Okay. okay. So we're gonna put this over our I, cup. I'm starting to see this. You're starting come to, to see it. Grab that hair tie it. for me, and you're gonna put the hair tie over it. Oh. Yep. We're gonna stretch it around. It's okay. We can pull the fabric through as we get it on the got cup. It. Okay. So you want to get your hair tie in the center of your fabric. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just work on getting it in the center. Okay, so now I'm gonna have you get the hot glue gun. We're gonna fold over again a seam, put a little right bit here. of hot glue to start, yep. Okay, so just like that. I'm gonna then come up and take my seam right here and okay. glue it together. So we're getting a nice clean seam. seam but okay, you're so still you having that? all the fabric yep. okay. as is noted in my hair. So you're gonna you do that all the way around until it's all closed and then we're right at the end here. So do the same thing for me. Put some right there. Here. Yep, on the top there. Get some right over there for me. Got it. Yep, and then I'm just gonna use my fingers to pinch off that Careful. seam. Make sure that your hair tie is fully in there. Fully closed. Okay, and then you pull it off your cup. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a DIY no so special. What? Stick it in your hair. Stick it on your T-shirt. That's Look at right. I I uh, rated my daughter's uh, little drawer full. And by the way, I mean you know, the, how much These did are that cost? These are coming back. I mean, this was an old T-shirt, so it cost nothing, and I had a hair tie laying around. Thank in a drawer. you. That's right. Talk about so, saving money, and of course they are back. By yeah, the way, they are back. So they're back. And you know what? They're back, and they're expensive. I'm telling you. Yeah. I ordered so some on Amazon. advantage of this like old is new thing. Exactly. And, yeah. So, so make it at home. And easy so peasy, easy. right? Okay. okay. So I'm gonna just stick this guy on my wrist. All right, do it. All right. So now, maybe you don't have a costume yet, right? You love the 80s? Yep. Grab a t-shirt. So if you don't have one, you can get these t-shirts for like four bucks at the craft store. Okay. Too. So they're really and neon, inexpensive. I noticed that you chose neon. Because neon, neon was fun in the 80s. So we're gonna make an I love 80s t-shirt. So I cut out a heart for you already. Cute. I cut out the 80s. What is this fabric? Um, so this is foam. So you can get this craft foam, but you could also use felt. If this is a one-time use, you could also do this with cardstock as well. Oh, great. Or construction paper. Okay. So this could be a one-time use t-shirt. All right, so now we're gonna put our heart on. Grab your glue gun. So Got it. Go ahead and throw some glue on the back okay. of that for me. We're gonna start so with cute. that. Got it. Okay, we got our eye. And then I want you to start grabbing some of those guys Ooh. for me and I'll start gluing. Oh, those look. are sticky on the back. Now, sticky. so if this is gonna be a one-time use t-shirt, you can get sticky foam and you can just put it on your t-shirt, right? And then you can pull it off when you're done. Now, if you're gonna keep it, obviously throw some glue on the back of it. You're gonna decorate with those. I've got these already on the table, which makes it easy. And then you know what else is coming this back? Is so fun. Puffy paints. Your girls use puffy paint? No. Okay, so it's coming back. Don't you? I remember growing up, oh, like yes. hoarding puffy paint Rude and making like every oh, puffy paint like shirt you could ever imagine. So go to town with some puffy paint. Got it. Add some fun accents to it. And puffy paint actually, I'm just gonna just okay, have some fun with it. All right. Nothing I'll, crazy. I'll have some Add fun some little with it lines. Too. You can use some neon colored puffy paint. 
But this is really fun. This doesn't have to just be, there you go, doesn't have to just be a Halloween craft. You can do this year round, right? Hold on, now I'm going, now I'm getting a little crazy. I know, right? I'm getting a little crazy. Have some fun with it. Okay, then you take your shirt, you grab your scrunchie, and you tie it all together for the perfect 80s outfit. So how cute is that? I don't know about you, but that's a little Kelly Kapowski, which is a little bit eighter than the 80s. Right, <laughs> yes. But how cute is that? It is perfect. Right? Guy, Lynn, I'm sorry. That is so great. I love it. Who's Lynn? You. I'm Susie I'm Poo. I'm sorry, Susie Poo, Susie Poo. Poo. Most importantly, if you want tips, ideas just like these, please make sure you head to our website, craftboxgirls.com. Follow her on all social media. Susie Poo at Craftbox. No. Uh, <laughs> Craftbox Girls, honestly, she has thousands of ideas, even for all of you procrastinators, I promise. Yeah, so we've got do. like 20 some different costumes you yes. can get really easily. You can get so creative just in time for tonight. I love it. All right.